Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Sher. Today's video, we are going to be breaking out my favorite palette. This is the Tribe palette from Juvia's Place for a collaboration with my friend Mariah. I'm pretty sure it's Mariah because it has an H on the end, but it could be Maria, but I'm pretty sure it's Mariah. I don't know, she never says her name in her video, but she has been a follower of my channel for yonks, probably since um, almost the beginning of this year. I don't even know what video she found me on, but she's just been such an awesome friend and supporter of me since the beginning. And I can't believe it's taken this long to collaborate with her. I'm so sorry, Mariah. But yes, Mariah has her own channel. She does a lot of makeup reviews, especially eyeshadow palettes. She loves eyeshadow palettes, which is amazing because I do too. And she also does a lot of makeup tutorials and she's really talented and I just love her. Her accent is so beautiful. I love it. I could just listen to her talk all day. It's so beautiful. So I'll leave Mariah's channel linked here and also down below. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. Mariah had told me she bought the Tri palette after she saw my video. So I'm so excited that she had it and we're able to use it together. We are actually doing a palette bingo with randomly generated numbers, but we've already drawn them and we've swapped. So I'm going to be using the numbers that Mariah drew and she's going to be using the numbers that I drew. So the numbers that Mariah drew for me were number 5, 8, 7, 2, and 9. So I'm going to swatch those and um, show you what they look like on my arm for the color story wise and then we can get straight into it. Oh, I should have swatched these on camera. Now they're on a awkward angle. Damn it. Okay. I'm going to have to redo that. <laughs> Alrighty. So this is the color story that I'm working with today. I kind of have an idea already because I've already looked at these shades, but that only gets me about halfway and then I have to make it up. So before we get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that big red button down below and hit the bell if you want to be notified of future videos. And with that, let's get into the tutorial kind of portion of the video. I'm going to start with priming my eyes and I'm just using the P. Louise base. I do this in every video. I just lay it down, pat it out and leave it unset and it just makes a nice clean base ready for eyeshadows. The first eyeshadow I'm going to take is the darkest one and this is San. Now I apologize already if I'm going to botch any of these names because I probably will but I'm just picking up a really generous amount and I'm just gonna lay this one down in the outer corner. And I don't think I wanna bring it in too far. I think I just wanna keep it mostly to this outer corner. And basically I'm just gonna pack this on until I'm happy with how it's looking and then I'm gonna glab, the glab, the And then I'm going to take a clean blending brush and just go around the outer perimeter just to make it nice and, and clean of a blend. I still want it to be really dark in the outer corner so I'll just pack and blend when I can. My eyes are itchy. Probably cat hair because it is everywhere since I got a cat. My goodness, Bellatrix just sheds so much because she's half ragdoll and they have just way too much hair. It's ridiculous. Mm. Next, I'm going to go in with this poo colored brown, which is such a good brown, um, and it's called Ashanti. And oh, these are like, if I'm going to use like neutrals, I love like the poo or honey colored kind of neutrals. They just work so much better. They just look so nice. And I actually tested on my hand just before filming 
if these two colors would blend together and they do so sometimes if I'm not a hundred percent sure I thought they would but I couldn't remember if they did or not or if I'd use the combo but I just check on my hand so I lay down like a little bit of primer and um and just put the colors next to each other and use a blending brush to blend them together to see what it'll look like sometimes I'm quite surprised so I'm just gonna blend that all around the edges so in the crease and then over the outer edges of that darker green as well so Terence and I just got back from our couple days away and I feel so refreshed now it was so nice to kind of just relax I didn't really like spend any time on social media where we went was in kind of like the hinterland really close to the beach so it had like that bush rainforest type vibe where you could just really relax but then it was really close to shopping centers or the theme park I'm so scared of roller coasters guys and I went on three or four and I only screamed on one and it was the kids one <laughs> out of all of them <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous I just have a fear of falling and I can like it's fine like you're strapped in and whatever but oh man I just I really hated it and we went on so the first one was was wasn't too bad it was called the green lantern so it's movie world that we went to and the green lantern obviously inspired by the green lantern and it's like a row you sit and there's like four people next uh like you're in the middle and there's three other people sitting next to you and um this one was really quite slow it wasn't anything major but it was still it's like high up you know and you went upside down and there's only like a waist thing holding you in and I can't I just hated it and then the other one we lined up for that was the Scooby-Doo one and that's the one I screamed on and honestly it wasn't even that bad it was just the fact that it I didn't know that it was like high because it was indoors and you couldn't see anything so Terrence was like oh yeah this is just like an easy one he kind of lied to me but not really. He just didn't tell me the truth. And so I'm sitting in this seat and there's this one's like two people and then two people in front of you. And we're sitting there and we reach this end part and there's like a TV screen in front of you. And I was like, oh, I wonder if it's like going to turn and like go a different way. But it just wasn't moving. And then all of a sudden I realized that we were going up. And I was like, oh no, we're going up. It's a roller coaster. Of course we're going up. And then I we stopped at the top and the screens were still in front of us. And I was like, we're going to go backwards, aren't we? And he's like, nope. <laughs> and I screamed when we went backwards. I can't handle that. Like at least going forwards you know I can close my eyes and I if I'm falling forward whatever I'm falling backwards I close my eyes I'm like I'm literally gonna die there's nothing behind me I can't see what's happening I could peek if we're going forward but we weren't so <laughs> that was a nightmare and then the last one we went on I don't know it was it was it's like the Arkham Asylum so it was fine it was a hanging one like you're sitting in it and two people next to each other and you're kind of just hanging in these chairs. And it would have been fine, I think, if um, it had had the, like the, what are they called? Like a seatbelt that kind of goes over, but it was just another waist one and we went upside down like a million times. And so I was sitting there and I was crying and everyone's looking at me before we go and Terrence's like, are you okay, are you okay? I was like, I want to get off. And he's like, yeah, do you want me to tell them? I was like, no, I'll just go on it. It's fine. I don't want to, I don't want to disappoint him. And then 
literally the ride goes and we're going up and I'm like no 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 I don't want to do it I don't want to do it and we get to the top and I just shut my eyes and this thing was like so fast it was ridiculous and I did this thing where um I was I was so tense and it was freaking me out so what I did is I just like like loosened my my grip except for my head grips and I pretended I was asleep for the whole ride and it kind of worked it helped me relax a little bit but I was freaking out the whole time I did not like it we didn't end up going on the last two because I feel like they would have been too intense for me and I'm actually so glad that it was busy because if it wasn't Terrence probably would have made me go on them and i would have hated my life but um yeah I didn't die it was fun will I go back probably but I have literally no courage even though I survived that I'm just terrified of them I don't I don't know why I don't know like obviously they're safe I know that it's such an irrational fear but I just hate it I hate heights I hate roller coasters I don't understand how people get enjoyment from it when I'm just so fearful so <laughs> that was eventful and yeah but the whole trip was really nice it was just so good to spend time with each other and relax and I got to read a little bit of a book which I don't often get a chance to read so that was really nice um what do I want to do I think I'm gonna I hate like I hate that my looks are becoming like segmented like this color on the top and a different color on the bottom but I just don't know what else to do at this moment so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this middle shade which is chaga my belly was rumbling that whole time so I don't know if you heard it but yeah I'm gonna take this bronzy shade chaga and I'm gonna put that all over the lid and um, blend it out it is a beautiful shade. I used it in my last video, which I'll leave linked above and down below so you can check it out. But yeah, I actually need to do some either like tutorial style videos. I just sprayed my brush because I've been doing a lot of palette bingos lately and it's just because I think... The reason I love them so much is it just takes the thought out of having to choose colours. Like I can just randomly generate it and there's my video, you know what I mean? So I don't know if tutorials is something that you guys would be interested in, like um, specific colours. I know I did get a request for a pink and black makeup tutorial, which I will definitely do. I just need to find time to do it but if there's any like anything that you specifically want to learn or watch let me know because I honestly like I make these videos obviously because I enjoy it but I have a following and I want to make videos that you guys want to watch as well that is so pretty wow 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 so pretty i'm just gonna go back in with the darker green and just blend that edge i'm not really a fan of like harsh edges i think i'm gonna have to stop and have something to eat because i'm so hungry yeah my stomach's going nuts so i just had a quick bite to eat because i was starving I feel much better now. I'm just going to use my Fenty fly liner and just draw like a line just across the lashes. I don't want it to be an obvious line. I just wanted it to kind of have like deepen up my lash line so that when I put lashes on then it's a bit darker there, so they blend in better, but I didn't want it to be like the star. You know what I mean? I just put purchased this as well. So 
I'm gonna use it and I'm just gonna pick it up on a really small brush and oh gosh I hope this works otherwise I'm gonna regret and just put it in here I don't know that I like that. Oh well, it's too late, it's here. That is the top part of the eyeshadow done. What I'm gonna do is pop some mascara and lashes on off camera, also my base and everything, and then we can finish up with the bottom. And then we can finish up with the lower lash line and finish this makeup look. I'm really keen to see kind of where it's gonna end because I'm not too sure. I've only got two shades left and I don't know if I wanna bring the green down underneath or not yet. So I probably will, but I haven't fully decided. So I'm gonna do all that and then come back. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished look. Let me zoom you in so you can have a look at the close up of the eyes. Oh, I just love how it turned out in the end. The green liner looks popping and looks really nice. And I just love the bronzy tones. Like, it's really pretty. And I feel very, like, fall-esque, even though we're coming into spring in Australia. But that's okay. I, I really enjoy it. It's nice to do, like, a, a colored in a corner rather than just, like, a shiny white so i love that um aspect of it let me know down below what you think of it and yeah leave some orange and green hearts if you're still here thank you so much to mariah for wanting to collaborate with me you're just so beautiful and you've been such a great support network for me from the beginning so i'm really happy that we can um collaborate and just be able to share our love of makeup together. Anywho, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you did like this video, give me a big old thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.